right, this is day one of my Birmingham trip. I stayed over at the Paragon Hotel. Pretty standard, the bed wasn't too comfortable, but you know, I don't need to complain about that sort of thing. I sleep anywhere. Um, my hair's a fucking mess because of the hair dryer ended up not working when I got a shower last night, so I was like, this, I need to sort that out. Um, so I'm off to the Flatback Festival soon after I get my breakfast uh, for the lunch at 11. So I look forward to doing that and meeting everyone that's involved in this programme and then I'll find out what's really happening at this festival. So let's give it a go. Alright. I have arrived at Mac Birmingham. And this is the Mac Center. Seems quite nice so far. So I'm on my way to the ABC My Flat Pack. That's it right there. I'm quite early, so I'm gonna wait a little while before heading up. This place is nice. But the first flat pack was a way of how do we actually try and make ourselves a living out of this because nobody would give us money to just put on pub nights. Much as we enjoyed them, it was very difficult to get funding for that kind of thing. And probably even more difficult now. But festivals, people people like festivals in terms of PR and uh, economic regeneration. And there's all sorts of different agendas that can attach themselves to festivals. So we found, although we love doing the around stuff, that the festival is actually the thing that um, provides us with the most reliable uh, way of you know, bringing in revenue. Alongside it, there's also a whole video shop. So there's a guy from uh, the Black Country called Dale Lloyd, who's a massive VHS fiend, and he's got like 2,000 VHS videos from the 80s and 90s, mainly kind of schlocky B movies, piled up in his room, uh, and there, a load of those are on display in the same space, and you can pick out a video and watch it on a on a TV. So flat pack last night went very well. Um, very good day, and we went to see the film. Um, the Internet's Own Boy, which looked at the life of the creator of Reddit, and a great movie, great movie, and that was at the, the Electric Cinema, and it's uh, it was a great event. And met lots of great people yesterday. It was really exciting and fun, doing all these different activities, and just meeting new creative people, you know, people that want to be directors and, and <clears throat> producers and writers, you know. All, the, all these creative people, you know, I don't really get to see these kind of people very often. So it's great that this has brought people together, um, young people. Um, you know, I was talking to people that are 26, 25. You know, they're all looking to do the same sort of thing. And it's it's just, it was a great atmosphere. Um, hopefully the vlog that we did will be up. And it should be up on the Flatpack Festival website or the YouTube channel. So I'll try and link that below. Um, I hope you enjoy it. And I'll be sure to put all this vlog together as well. So... Yeah, today is Saturday and it's going to be a bigger day so I'll report in on that and what happens and I'll try and get some footage today too. And also, look at my grid for you. Hello 
again everyone and this is the last day of my trip at Birmingham and I may tie this in with what I'll be doing today is I'm going to go shopping today um, before I get on my plane so I might tie that in and if I do cut not. So anyway, it's Sunday the 29th of March and it just so happens it was daylight savings today and that means I got an hour less sleep so I'm quite tired of even just from that. I got six hours sleep max. But, you know, energy's high anyway because I'm just so excited to be here and this is the last day as I said. And last night was um, pretty great. Yesterday was probably the best day here um, because I just met so many new people and uh, there was all these different events and last night uh, I was at the Gavarna, I think it was called the Gavarna Bar or something like that. Um, basically, it was ten pound in, eight pound in, and it had a burger stand. It had a, a mini club bar. People could dance, and there was also a collage party, which was basically people cutting up paper and sticking it on the wall. And I'll show you an image of that. It's something I made, and I thought that was quite fun and playful. <clears throat> um, and there was drinks, of course, and there was this. A live music performance upstairs from it as well, which was fascinating, so I'll get into that in a second. But yeah, that was a fantastic place to talk to people, and you know, it was just a, it was a nice environment because it wasn't, it was like a private venue, and I felt I've still got the sticker in my hand, and it made me feel quite important because you know, it was a small party, and it was like you know, it was having on a guest list, and there was only about 40 45 people, maybe 50 people there actually. Um, but yeah, it was just great, and I couldn't take my eyes off the screen of the, the, they were projecting uh, the music and it was like this mash up and it was constant and I just, it was interesting because it must have been made just for this, uh, DJ must have done this all together himself and it was a mash up of all these different songs and film clips, I mean you were seeing remixes of clips from Game of, Game of Thrones and even with Wall Street so I'll cut to that if I can and yeah it was just, it was just something very unique, I couldn't take my eyes off it because you know uh, there's these clips of the Simpsons and Family Guy and <clears throat> All this different stuff going with like hip hop, dance, electronic kind of pop music, and there's something about it. It's created like a, you know, it's like a new way of seeing all those pop videos um, with the music blasting and the live performance, which was very interesting. I didn't get the names of people performing, but if they are watching this or somebody's been there that's watching this, you'll know that it was quite a surreal experience. Um, that the big screen, and I I did take a video, so I cut to that now. The audio was so powerful, I drove my camera if you, you know, could handle it. But it was great, it was, I thought it could have been a bit shorter, maybe four or five minutes shorter, it was very, very dragged out, but I think that was the point, because it was that kind of experimental music. Um, it was really loud, it was just a bass, sort of, you know, bass guitar, uh, bass for slash electronic, because it was a mix of both, and really heavy drums, um, and the image is on the screen, I don't know even know what film it's from, if it was even from a film. But, you know, it almost scary. It gave me the chills in a way. Um, I don't know if anyone else felt that way, but it was kind of scary in a sense, but just seeing the screen and those images, because it was like people in space suits and stuff, and it was very, very weird, but I liked it anyway. Um, but yeah, yesterday, yeah, I'm just reading my notes. Yesterday, yes, DIY sci-fi and the DVD bang was the only events that I got to. Uh, the DIY sci-fi thing is where we got to see a screening of this little 
a short film made by people in Birmingham and it wasn't good to be honest but I liked the creativity that was in it and you know the heart was in the right place it just wasn't that good a film it had no real plot it was just dragged out and but you know I liked the fact that it was a, a sci-fi film you know the, uh, DIY sci-fi you know sort of things like, like plastic cups and tin foil and stuff to make um, you know the things on the set the pieces of set design and props and you know that, that's a reminder to people you know anyone can make a film that's just trying to be creative and you know just go for it and you can make it but the most impressive thing that I really liked yesterday was DVD Bang which is a I think it's I believe it's a pop-up kind of stand a pop-up shop uh, but the guy runs this guy runs it and I, I tried to interview him but the, the quality of the footage isn't very good but basically he runs a rental store for VHS tapes and also it's a place you can go and you can have a drink and socialise and also sit down and actually watch the films on VHS to yourself or with people which I think is a great idea and basically he's got this big collection of 80s horror films that are like direct to video you know, and very, very obscure stuff not not all direct to video but you know all the strange obscure horror films from directors and actors and people that you really probably wouldn't have heard of ever and things that probably won't ever get to DVD because it's so old and you know cheap and I think there's something nice about those kind of films as I said and I, I, I kind of like trash horror but sometimes those things are too obscure I mean we saw this thing where it was it was a dub and it was a, a naked fighting people and there was no continuity to the ending at all I mean one minute he was, he was outside and the next minute he was inside doing something else but anyway it was just weird stuff like that it can be interesting and I think I love the idea I would love to take the idea back home to Northern Ireland and Belfast because in Belfast there are some vintage shops like that because uh, even in Bangor for instance there's, there's a retro gaming shop and stuff but in Belfast you know you've got you've got You've got bookstores which have which has, you know, all the history of you know, all these different books from years ago. Um and then there's vintage clothes shops as well, retro and there's collectible shops, um and there's record shops that pop up every now and again now. Uh because records seem to be coming back in. They never left, but you know, they are coming back in almost for the nostalgia and uh retro feel to it. But yeah, I would love to take that idea somewhere and, you know, I, it's a wonderful idea because video stores are dead now and there's, as the guy said, there's nothing like getting in and getting, it's great that we have Netflix, but there's nothing like getting into a video store and renting a video and talking to people because you get to engage and it's all about face-to-face -face engagement. It's, it's, as much as I love the internet for doing things like I'm doing now, um, talking face-to-face -face really is, it's something different. It's like, I mean, yesterday was just so great. Because I was talking to people, you know, some people were 10 years older than me, some people were 20 years older than me. And, you know, we were talking about film and we're, we all love film, we all love cinema, we all care about uh, screening films, we, we all care about trying to get people interested and, you know, it was just wonderful, a really great experience. Um, so yeah, the flat pack thing, um, so I was very glad to get invited by Queen's Film Theatre Belfast um, to get me in to this opportunity. And yeah, I'll put a link below to some of the videos that I've done. And actually, I would like to say that one of the videos I've done got me quite a lot of popularity amongst people because um, I made a video where we debated the 70s, 80s, 90s films, which is the best decade. I, I picked 70s, and everyone was on my side. People were going to say, You made the best film, you know, I agree with you. And that was a great conversation starter. I mean, I got four or five business cards, and I'm going to stay in contact with some people um, across, across England. and. I even met this French guy, which was nice. Um, but yeah, so much happened. Um, to take, a look, take a look below with some of the videos people made at the flat pack. I ended up making like three, or f I did an interview as well. So there's a lot of content with me that you might see popping up. Um, I thought about as well since I flew over. I mean, I was, no one else travelled as much as I did, except of course for the the um, the programmers and stuff from France and Germany and Amsterdam. But I can't quite a long way, so might as well make it worth my time. So that's it, everyone. Thanks for watching this vlog, whatever I end up doing with it. Um, yeah, as you see, it's a very exciting trip, and it might even inspire me to do something different with my channel and do some other kinds of videos. So, till next time, everyone, thank you so much for watching, and have a good day.